Hi, Phil from Got Memories here. Going to show you in this video here, moldy videotapes, VHS tapes here. You can see this one has got mold on it, which has come from moisture, i.e. humidity, i.e. putting them in your, your garage or your attic and you know neglecting them for many many years so when i get the tapes in uh, you can't put them in because you're going to wreck the heads on them um and this is becoming more of more of a problem i mean i'm 2023 right now with all these videotapes are getting older and older and they're oxidizing their particles are coming off uh and they're clogging heads and this is why you see so many transfer companies with atrocious reviews and unhappy people because most companies they see that these hourly people that are working they're like Meh, they just put it in now i'm gonna sacrifice a vcr right here because it's gonna i've got it hooked up and i'm gonna clean the videotape so like you can't see an image if i rewind it Uh, and I'm rewinding it, just holding it down right here. It is rewinding. So I'm going to try, I said, look, this is what you're getting. Okay, so I have this piece of kit right here that is, I've just caught. Uh, I mean, there are ways to manually clean them, but um, let's have a look here. I'm going to try this out. This is pre paid like 400 bucks for this thing that was probably 30 bucks back in the day. But um, I'm gonna try it out here, just as a demo for the YouTube world. So as you put that in there and you've got the cleaning solution and you drop it in there, right here, leave it for a minute or two and it's gonna soak up. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna leave that to it for a second. Uh, hopefully that goes. All right, I'm giving it a good dousing. <laughs> um, let that soak. These pads, let's see. There are pads right here. See them? And that's what cleans the tape. So, I don't know, for the sake of it, I'm just gonna... I can't really see that anything's... Just gonna do this, you can fast forward through this bit. Hopefully it soaks. I've got the instruction manual here. For this thing, this was made in 1994. Um, it says, uh, let it soak for a minute. I'm not much of an instruction guy, but um, wait one minute until fluids have saturated the cleaning pad. That's about a minute, so I'm gonna rewind it. And we're gonna see how it goes. So you can kinda, of, if you can see through the window here, there's a clear division on where the moldy part is and where the clean part is. Um, I'm gonna fast forward this and have a look on the other side of what happens. It's kind of hard to tell in this video. We'll get to the beginning part. And there's fascinating stuff here. Okay, while that's cleaning, cleaning hopefully, um, here we go. It is like watching paint dry. So on the other side over here, I'm not, and now it's into the moldy. I can't see any mold on this side. See here, got the mold, glare on this. There's the mold. I'm gonna eject this when it's done, any second now, and see where we're at with it. Let's see. Almost there. Come on, come on. So I don't see, I see a little bit of discoloration on this, eject. So there's no more mold, but so you can see there where it's 
And so I'm going to rewind that. Let me fill these tabs right here. Mm. Yeah, they're not very, they're not very white. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just dump this in a bit more here. One, two, it's like eye droplets. Uh, there we go. Hopefully that does the trick here. We'll soon find out when it's rewound. So you flip this here. I'm gonna give that a little second. Um, real quick, so these are all, this is essential, not only for keeping the heads clean on players and camcorders, this does kind of a surface job. Um, the This is more of like the industrial and you have these um, chamois tips um, and then the heads are right here and you you run these, you put the solution on it or rub an alcohol and then you spin the head drum and then you get this filth on there. This is um, the essentials if you transfer in your home movies or if a company is doing this, they need to be watching. I've got videos galore on all this. This is why um, you see really crappy transfers with other companies is because they just put the tapes in and they don't watch them. They don't care. They're not monitoring them. I mean, you're not sitting there with popcorn watching everyone's home movies, but you kind of panning around the room and taking a look to make sure everything is crystal clear like it is right there. And that's why a lot of these places that you see online, i.e. boxes up there, Legacy Box, Kodak Digitizing, all these different companies, and they've just got terrible quality transfers. I'm gonna just pull some up right now. I'm still letting that, I'm gonna rewind this now. So um, let's have a look. Okay, while that's rewinding, I'll show you some um, comparisons. Let's have a look here. Comparisons of stuff as to what you videotapes. So, let's see. Okay, prime example. So, that's, believe it or not, that right there. It's the same tape, and that cut, and then you have, don't even have a picture after that. Um, look at this. That's the same videotape as this, and that comes from dirty and worn-out heads. Um, and this is a massive, massive problem with transfer companies because they're not cleaning the heads of their players. I mean, look, you got these staticky, this, and people go, oh, you charge way more than other companies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because there's so much involved with keeping these tapes transferring clearly when they all fall into pieces after 30, 40 years of neglect stuck in garages and attics. Your stuff might be in really good shape, maybe, if you're watching this video, probably not. Um, this, this right here, I'll show you how much this costs. You will not believe a sealed eight millimeter camcorder uh, cleaner, head cleaner, right? This right here, $76 plus return shipping. Uh, let's have a look. Shipping, seven bucks. So you're looking at like $82, $83. For this a silly head cleaner these are a little bit cheaper uh, sealed these are not cheap god I think I pay like 50 bucks for these things I can't even remember um, and then also the time unscrewing the tops and putting you know taking the time to take the tape out if you see it going to crap you've got to take the lid off the, the VCR you got to clean it, then you got to restart the tape again. Um, it's all a major pain in the ass. Um, so if you are looking to do this yourself, have all of this on standby um, because you're going to need it. 
Um, if you are looking for a transfer company, two things you need to know to know that you're going to get great results with no drama is Google reviews, not Yelp, Google. Okay. High number of counts of, of reviews. So not talking 10 reviews with a 5.0 because that's their mother, their father, their neighbors, their friends leaving reviews. If you see hundreds, yeah, it's legit. Um, so you need to see a 5.0 and hundreds of reviews. Maybe a 4.9, you know, you can't keep everyone happy. Clearly I have. Um, and then second, 2023 and beyond a YouTube channel. Just holding the phone, not rocket science, showing the inner workings of the business and also complete transparency of things running. Um, this is another problem with transfer companies is they usually have like maybe one computer or one monitor and then a stack of decks of players. So they're switching between them every now and then to see if they're okay. So they're not catching if there's any problems with them. Um, look at this, this is painfully slow. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Um, hopefully this is okay. Because the thing is, even if this doesn't work, I've got to clean this head now because some of that gunk got on the head. I'm sure if I put uh, a dummy tape in right now, um, this won't work. Let me, let me have a look here. Um, let me rewind that. Because that's the thing. You might have your tapes in amazing condition. And then the, the person that went before you on the machines had this crap. So their crap has got on the heads. And now your stuff that's perfectly clean has now contaminated, has been contaminated and the heads are screwed and they need to be cleaned. So your stuff is not reading properly. Um, this is the problem with all of this, is just the knock-on effect. And the main problem is that these transfer companies, they don't monitor their equipment. So they're not checking everything. Hopefully this is okay. No. <laughs> Yeah, so this tape here is screwed because of this tape right here. This tape will not play. So this tape that transferred perfectly fine, no mold, clean, now won't play because of this guy right here. So, Anyway, you can skip through this. Oh, God, this thing is wearing out. <laughs> it's struggling. I'm going to put a little bit more in here. Feed the beast. Hold on. Oh, speed nut. Maybe it got through some gunky crap. Um, so what I've got to do... Oh, crap. Um, I've got to clean the head on this thing before I even put it in. So... Hold on, let me see if I can throw this in here. Uh, stand by. I don't edit my videos clearly, just I don't have the time. Oh, there we go. Um, is that gonna fit? All right, there we go. Hey. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to clean the head. So let's get that out of the way. So I'm gonna have a clean, chamois tip where's the camera there we go chamois tip whatever it is anyway you get the point um and i'm going to put some of this on it both sides Oops. oh god it's all over all right whatever so and then you get this hopefully this is in picture and uh put some pressure on the head god straight away when i put it on it and then you just turn it Give it a few passes. And I guarantee you, there's gonna be a whole bunch of muck that comes off of this. You kinda, yeah, look, you got black right there. And this is, I'll do that, I'll give it a go on the other side. And, Let's see if we get a picture with this videotape. 
Yep, see, look, that and that. Okay, and I'll take this back. Okay, so this is, let's eject it and see what it looks like. Uh, still kind of crappy. Uh, hopefully the tape hasn't broken. Okay, good. That's always fun. So it definitely has cleaned it up a little bit. Um, that's the moment of truth right here. Let's see. Uh, yep, there we go. It's still crappy. Oh, usually at the beginning of tapes. Um, there we go. I am happy with that. Uh, one thing I do as well is I boost the audio. So mobile devices, small speakers, stuff, I boost it all the way up so it's loud. All these transfer company jobs I've seen, they don't, they, you can hardly hear the audio. A lot of them are ripping it from, they go from VHS uh, to DVD and then they rip it uh, using a program like this here, which is just such a no-no. And I know why they're doing it, but even though they're ripping it, they're not even ripping it correctly. Um, this is a good ripping program here, but they're ripping it because they don't have enough computers because they're still stuck in like the early 2000s when everything went to DVD. So they got all these VHS to DVD decks. So they just load them up, bang, 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 bang take the discs and then rip them. So ripping them, depending on the speed of your computer, can run, you know, if you've got a two hour disc, take about 20 minutes to rip a two hour DVD. Um, but the quality, eh, you don't wanna do that. And also they're not even ripping it correctly because the audio is so low. Um, I can just tell that I could keep going and going, but if you're looking at doing transfers through any of these companies that tout cheap prices on Facebook, Instagram, with these easy boxes, and oh, just send us your stuff, and it's 100 bucks for 20 tapes, you get what you pay for. Um, you know, <laughs> so all the best to you out there. And um, I can definitely recommend this but these are made in 94 so finding them is going to be a challenge all right so all the best to you if you are in phoenix that's where i'm located not in england but you can go to gotmemories.com to get a quote um and i am by appointment if you're in phoenix for local drop-offs because i have to get work done that's why you kind of got the curtain up there i'll give you a quick tour and if you've got film transfers do all the film as well. But yeah, every single video here, clean, clean. And there we go. That's the front of the shop there. And uh, yeah, so anyway, all the best to you uh, out there. All right, cheers, bye-bye.